Vancouver, Canada. And you're watching Fun for Louis. Good morning guys. It's another incredible day in LA. When's it not? When's it not? And we're, we've gone down for some breakfast at the Republic of Pi again. And Edwin's joined us. Good morning Edwin. Good morning everybody. We haven't got long because uh, Nick and Anne are coming over to pick us up for a road trip. So, going to get that coffee in. Look at this amazing, like, misting stuff that's coming off this restaurant or whatever the place is. It's like the most refreshing thing ever. <laughs> it's exactly what you need on a hot day. And just arrived. How are you doing, Angie? Hey, so good. What a beautiful day. Look at this amazing car we've got to road trip in. Hey, dude, pop the trunk. <laughs> wow, good you guys! Thing. Good thing I've just grabbed a to be, bag. To be fair, you are literally moving to San Francisco, Welcome so. To the luxury. How you doing, Nick? I'm doing well, bro. Look at this thing. This is sick! It's probably the most stylish road trip we're going to have in a <laughs> Oh, I'm excited! Air-conditioned leather seats? Yes! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You can turn on the massaging facility. No. Guys, we've arrived and we're hanging out at Lucy. Hey, how was your Fourth of July? We missed you uh, yesterday. It was really awesome. There was fireworks and lots of good food. That's all I wanted. Basically, Lucy was at like some exclusive party that we couldn't come to because it was so exclusive. I think Andrew's fallen in love with this car. It's too hot to touch. <laughs> Nick's camera because um, my camera got completely soaking wet. I was filming the sea coming in and it just went underwater and it's drying out at the moment. Um, That's why the camera quality is so much more superior and the yeah. crispness of the image will notice. Um, but anyway, we're going to go and get some food and some refreshments before our long drive up the coast. Um, I think I need a nice cold drink. <laughs> Where are we, Nick? We're in San Luis Obispo, which is kind of like a student town. And so they have Cal Poly here, um, which is like a tech university. And it's a really, really nice little place, good bars, and that's about as much as I know. How far are we on our route to San Francisco? We've got about 250 miles left. So we're probably going to get there about 10 o'clock at night. Okay. So we're going to miss the bride. Yeah. 
Dang it. And that's uh, barbecue for anyone that's not South African. <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to go to a barbecue at someone's house tonight, but we left it too late. But it's been an incredibly beautiful drive so far. I'm looking forward to the rest of it. How are you holding up, Lena? Good. Oh, you're vlogging. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time. How are you holding up, Ange? I'm good. It's been a really beautiful journey. Guys, I forgot to show you something. This has literally made the journey a thousand times better. The car has mains power. Since when does any car have mains power? Meaning I can just chill on my laptop the whole journey and ignore everyone else and be antisocial. You're welcome. No, I'm joking. <laughs> and also guys, look. Jeff has raised $2,214 for his getting his van back. And uh, that's thanks to you guys for getting behind it. So thank you. Well guys, it's 10 p.m. We've literally been driving all day and uh, Nick has been an incredible driver. Well done, Nick. Done. Yeah, and, uh, just enjoying life. But living and not doing drugs. High five. <laughs> <laughs> that was a reference to their wife tag video where Ange didn't know my outro and she thought it was. Uh... Wait, what did you think it was? <laughs> I can't even remember. Peace out. It was peace out. <laughs> and don't do drugs. <laughs> Boom! I got the boom! Don't do drugs. No, I thought I, I think I thought Ben's don't do drugs. Louise, Louise, Martha, Louise, Martha for life. That's no one must do drugs. <laughs> no drugs. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're stopping now and we're going to get an In N Out burger because I'm hungry. Cheers, Nick. He's doing his he's doing his lettuce thing again. Protein star. Yeah. <laughs> Right, we've arrived at George's house. He's putting us up for the night, me and Lena, and this is uh, Nick's friend. Yeah. Um, he's a what's advisor, happening? advisor on our company, and he's actually helping us, um, Marcus, Butler, and I start the Hope Republic. Cool. Mm -hmm. And he's going to show us some of his cool maps. Yeah. That's a map from 1540, and it's supposed to be the earliest map you could obtain of Africa. I don't know if you can see, there's an, actually an old frame inside a newer frame. Okay. And this is oh, yeah. old glass. This map has been behind that glass since about the 1840s. Wow. So, that map's from 1541? Yeah, that, uh, wow. both of them. And I've mounted them so they look like it's a continuous map of Africa. These are extremely old. These, these are now 501 years old. That was printed in 1486. What? Um, well, we've learned a lot about maps tonight, and now these guys are off to. They're staying down the road. Yeah. See you in the morning. Yeah, bro. Cheers. Bosh. Are you going back to Portola? Well, it's been a fascinating evening, uh, learning a lot, chatting to George tonight about travels and different collections he's got. Um, we are going to be exploring a bit of San Francisco tomorrow with Nick and Ange and uh, I'm looking forward to that because I've never spent much time in San Francisco. Alright, I'll uh, catch you guys tomorrow morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.